WFNN. Headline News Update. Good morning, everyone. This is the Tiger Financial News Network 11 a.m. market update with Basil Chapman. <clears throat> the second day, third, whoops, second day of September, Friday, wrapping up. Hope you all have a great long weekend. We're looking at the Dow, 284, 31,941. Uh, yesterday, it hit 31,291. That's 700 points off the low, but of course, it's, it fell very sharply just in the last few days alone. It did more than that. So what's really needed is by Tuesday or Wednesday for this to be a follow-through. I, I love the action towards the end of yesterday. Uh, what we need to see is the 32,215 is resistance. It is the nine-period exponential moving average resistance. Distance. And uh, if it can close above that, 32,437 would be great. And that will help the weekly chart, which is kind of flipped to a negative, uh, turn back to positive. And we're looking at the S&P. The S&P right now is also up sharply. It's up uh, almost 1% at 3982 up this at this moment. Yes, at 4,006.70. That needs to get to the 4,045 level. I would say 4,022 is going to be the tough resistance. If we can get through that, 4045 would be a magnet. Uh, it's really important. And all of them need to hold today's lows no matter what happens um, today. Looking at the QQQ, this is actually very interesting because the candle so far is at the open. It's like a little doji candle open and close at this particular point. It's up to 79, the 302.22. It's a really important that the NDX 100 stocks start to not necessarily lead, but, but parallel. And right now, they're parallel in the market. I would like them to lead. It needs to get to 306 uh, by Tuesday or Wednesday. That'll be a good, good sign. The IWM, the Russell 2000 having a very good move to the upside, but it's actually still very, very weak. Gold is really what we're looking at. We did that in my show, the Tiger Editions Hour, a few moments ago. Uh, it's up 19 at 1728. If complementary to gold moving up, you can actually see the dollar move down and start from 109.12. I made a, a multi-year high yesterday in peak D in the Chapman wave. You want to see that pull back under 108, and that's going to help the probably help the market and help gold. So you're looking at the TLT acting so poorly, but you, we know bonds have to go down so yields can go higher. That's what the Fed wants. And crude oil is trading right now. Uh, it's given back some of the gains. It's kind of struggling. So I'm going to wrap it up there. You've got uh, Steve Rose coming up. You've got Steve, then Think or Swim. Then uh, you've got uh, Larry Pesavento, Dave White, Tom O'Brien. Have a great long weekend. We'll see you Tuesday. Yeah.